April Fool's Day has become notorious for brands making joke announcements, with some being really good and some being really... yeah. This year, Sega decided to blindside everyone and shadow drop an entire game called The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, a visual novel with some basic platformer challenges that take place during a murder mystery dinner. Come on, you really didn't think they were going to kill off Sonic, did you? Clearly, this has been in the works for months, and from a personal standpoint, while the game is a short, point-and-click adventure, it felt really refreshing for the franchise. Also, the writing was hilarious, and there were some really great music tracks too, but I digress. So today we're going to play through the entirety of The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, and if you enjoy Sonic content, please consider subscribing and checking out my whole playlist of Sonic games, as well as some of my other playthroughs. Enjoy. So April Fool's Day came early this year uh, because Sega decided to shadow drop a whole ass game called The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, typically companies will, you know, make a funny post on social media, but no, Sega went above and beyond this year. Oh, who are you? Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. Oh, he's a, he's a creative character. He's a Sonic OC. I'll just sign my name. Uh, you you look like a Rupert. That, that's that's a Rupert, right? Anyway, uh, if I sound off right now, it's because I'm sick. So um, subscribe for my resilience and my passion. I mean, this game is not going to play and or record itself. The Dining Car, Act 1. Very, very lavish. Uh-oh. Am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Rupert. Shake it off. Rupert? Did I, uh, just see you hitting yourself? Who's this man's? I don't, I don't trust his eyes. It was the conductor calling it now. Uh, Mr. Conductor, sir. Uh, how are you doing this morning? Ho, ho, ho. Quite all right myself. Though, feeling a little bit bittersweet. Uh, <laughs> is that because you're a sweetie? <laughs> Trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She already got our plane tickets to Spagonia Locked. This is canon, right? This game is canon. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Fa ha ha ha! Who laughs like that? Also, this man is clearly not getting paid a livable wage. He can't afford to fix his shower. I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Oh, they added it to my inventory. Uh, I should probably open that up. So let's see, what's on the, uh, chili dog ramen chicken cordon bleu? What is this, like a internet cafe in the late 2000s? We used to go to an internet cafe, like, when we used to play land games before anyone really had a gaming PC, and they had nothing but a microwave, Chef Boy RD, and, like, combos and Sour Patch Kids. We lived like animals. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Yep, that this is Cyberforce in the year 2000 and... When did I go? 2003. Fa ha 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 ha! A little bit about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. Like a microwave. The train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. Dude, just say you want to marry the train. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. Uh, what's the event today? Why, it's the... Oh, a murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Okay, so Sonic doesn't actually die. He pretend dies, which actually makes more sense because uh, I I can't see Sega making a game where they actually kill Sonic. <laughs> Guess we'll be funneled here into the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I will be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. Are you sure you're going to be able to work the microwave? I'll make you proud, sir. Uh, I mean, I can't afford to lose this job. Y you sure can't. The severance pay is lousy. Ah! Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! So they tweeted out some promo art for this, and it actually it looks really cool. Oh, here they come, funneling on. Oh, here's Amy with a, a cupcake on her head. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. 
I can get used to staying on a train like this. That's my best vector impersonation. Uh, listen, Sega, if you're looking for a new vector voice actor, I got you. I, I did that sick, too. What do you all expect? I'm not doing Amy. I, I, I don't have the energy. What did you all expect? You know, I always go all out for my birth. Oh, it's Amy's birthday. And here's Rouge. The train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. I'm a kleptomaniac. Oh, my God. They gave him the hat. Can we just get a remaster of the Sonic OVA? Like, please? I don't know who's in charge of that. Somebody. Please. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? Oh, hang on. Hang on a second. It's not the size of the pen. It's how it writes. <laughs> what cast of characters am I stuck with? Oh, there he is. He's here. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? righty -o, friend. Ooh, hang on. Yeah, Sonic would want to be called friend, not sir. Well, aren't you friendly? I like how he's dressed like a captain. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. All right, time for me to read everyone else's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I want nothing to do with this. Goodbye. You remember the promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Assist Rupert if they need any help, won't you? Mm, got it, boss. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust that you're all ready to read your lore cards as well. I don't know if Sonic Team made this or if it was like another development team at Sega, but it's very well done so far. I mean, I don't know what to expect. Uh, I suppose it makes sense. Lore cards aren't read aloud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Now onto the nitty gritty for the murder mystery game. One of you will be murdered. Oh, that yeah, that's how it works. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Uh, one of those, huh? Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you are stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captains go. Tails, you are the detective and you'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff and we'll find you in the saloon. Very fitting. Rouge, you're a business tycoon and Blaze, you're a titan of industry both in the casino. Uh, what's the difference? There is none. Just, we used fancier words. Vector, you're the butcher and SBO is the poet. Both found in the library. Shadow is the locksmith. He's like, oh, great. He's like, I really didn't even want to come to this. Why was I invited? And last but not least me, the journalist reporter who marries the captain. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Oh, what is this? I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. There is a murderer amongst you all. Come on, you, you know they wanted to say it. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. But you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone must collect evidence throughout the train. Use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. Ah, good old classic who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. Oh, I'm gonna interrogate. You complete me. You're garbage. You kills for money. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Ah, this is so exciting. Nothing gets me hot and bothered like a nice murder. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. How thrilling. I have goosebumps. Same. Ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. Oh, okay. So it's not Amy or Tails. Maybe they're just saying that to throw me off. Who do you think it's gonna be? Or is it randomized? It's probably not randomized. It, it's probably gonna end up being like Knuckles because he's the sheriff and no one would suspect the sheriff. Here's what I wanna know. Why is the minimum wage waiter so invested? He's like, do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. Oh, it's a Flicky. My backstory is that I was best friends with a Flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm just a nosy person turned journalist. So we did a, a murder mystery for Casey's birthday a few years ago, who is on side quest, oh my God. So, something's happening. You can tell by the very tense music and the worried look on everyone's face. The train has started moving. Yeah, trains do that. It's so fast, grab onto something. Ah, I'm slipping. Hold on. I, are they, should trains not go fast? What's our destination anyway? Or do we just do like a big circle? Oh, wow. The place actually got demolished. Okay, so 
you're both awake. W was everyone like unconscious? Seems the train has slowed down considerably. Wow, how exhilarating. I know the production on this train is astounding. The concussions almost seem real. All right, seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. You know who else can reach incredible speeds? That's right, our boy Sonic, who's definitely alive right now, right? We're getting our money's worth, that's for sure. This game was free. Here's the thing, is this actually intended? Rupert has no idea. It's just gonna be completely unhinged. They didn't tell him in the interview that you actually have to crash the train. Huh, what's that? Seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Dude, it's, it's a bookshelf, just, just move it. Oh, Amy has her hammer too, or, or maybe she doesn't. I know Amy, she's hiding something. It, it probably was Amy this whole time. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks, and I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. This is basically a Detective Tales game, and I'm here for it. You can count on me, Tales. I'm getting paid to do this. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. All right, let's look for clues. It looks like Amy has a spoon, which is definitely not found on a dining car at all. Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Tails is like, Amy, you are the dumbest person I know. We can interact with a lot of stuff here. Uh, let's go with the baseball bat. What is this? A rod. The tip is broken. It looks to have been originally attached to something. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. All right, we'll take that. Wet floor sign. Once I slipped on some juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. He was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into some older gentleman's shopping cart. Let's click on Sonic Colors over here. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check here. Oh, it's empty. Uh, so not many more things. What is this, food? What do you think, Tails? You want me to cook any of this for you? I'll just pop it right into the microwave over here. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. Dudes who have a cast iron skillet, don't shut the hell up about having a cast iron skillet. I know, I have one. You have to like treat it so you, you can't wash it with soap. When you're done, you have to oil it up. It's a whole process. Um, all right, so I guess just this. It's currently not budging. Hey, Rupert, look closely at this. Someone took a bite out of it. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. That looks like a vector-sized chump, so we haven't eaten yet. Now, listen, people are getting hungry. All right, time to interrogate Amy. Start talking. We believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? I mean, it makes sense for her to do something and get away with it. No one would suspect it. People would be like, oh, it's her birthday. You know, we're here for her. But she was awake first. And who knows, okay, let's see. What could she have done in that time? She definitely could have microwaved a chili dog. I'm not eating until it's birthday cake time. Okay, noted, she's only eating cake today. Uh, you definitely attempted to escape. Prove it. Oh, got you there. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Rupert, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Oh, I got it, I got it. This proves that she tried to escape, because that was probably her hand. This one. You have no argument here. You're gr oh, you're right. I, I, I don't have an argument. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? And now I have to explain myself. That's how arguments work. What would Sonic do? Probably spin dash. You know, just destroy the, uh, the shelf. But then again, I don't know if spin dashing creates the, uh, the buzzsaw effect that it did in the cartoon. I don't think that's canon. Oh, Sonic, you know, he's like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. What a coincidence, they have one of those. Just close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do and find your argument? This is my philosophy for life. All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Follow the train of thought, fire a comeback. Uh, what? Oh, shh, there's a, we got a platform. I, I wasn't ready for this. Some rings. Oh, this, this is nothing. I, I love this. Ow! I, I got enough, I got enough, we're good. It's just a spe- <laughs> Uh, it's just a special stage, but you get an idea instead of getting a Chaos Emerald. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall onto. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? Oh, got her! I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. With that stick that we found. Boom. Right here. The stick. You truly believe a stick could do that? Yes, I do. Oh, I gotta think again. I love it. It's like a little pink Game Gear. I love this. All right, I have an idea. Rupert's Dream Gear. 
You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could, like, let's say, a hammer? <gasps> Got her. That's why, when we mentioned the hammer earlier, she's like, uh, yeah, anyway, let's talk about something else. This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. Isn't her hammer just kind of like a squeaky hammer? Got her. Red-handed. Caught in 4K. Ah, you're right. I gave the shelf one big whack, and the handle ripped right off. I fit. Why? That's a weird thing to lie about. Be like, hey, uh, everyone wakes up from being unconscious, and it's like, hey, uh, looks like we're trapped in here. I tried to bust us out, but I, clearly I'm not strong enough. Now that there's three of us, let's do it together. Why be weird about it? Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just a little bit of elbow grease, and boom! If you hit the shelf right here, it's not a squeaky hammer. Why did I think that she also had, like, a squeaky hammer? All right, we did it. We're free. Oh, God, this place is a mess. Someone's getting fired. Oh, wait, that's me. I'm the only one that works here. Wait, ah! He's dead! Oh, no, Sonic. He did the family guy fall down thing. Someone murdered my darling Sonic, and it looks like the game has begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. Let's all go figure out who killed Sonic. You see, it, the twist is actually, it was Sega. He had a rough patch, but we're, we got through it. Uh, Sonic, you good? So Sonic, you're not supposed to really be dead. Eh, body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? Whoa. Uh, maybe he did get hurt. A good thing he signed that waiver. My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? I mean, I'm not a doctor. Oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Rupert. What would I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests... Yeah, so about that, we have serious injuries. I don't trust the conductor at all. Something's up. All right, gotta catch up to Amy and Tails, get to the bottom of this. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Let the game begin. Oh, look, the saloon car. Oh, this place looks cool. We got an arcade. Oh, the arcade's all busted up. What can we do? Let's look for Tails first. Rupert, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone ahead. She seems really... Yeah, Amy's acting weird. Just a question. How do I put this? Uh, what if Sonic is actually hurt? Ah, no, that's hilarious. Oh, God, they have a reward for Amachow. I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Let's... I don't want to say it's my job to keep an eye on you, because that's suspicious, so... We're gonna tag along. If you don't mind, is it cool if I, uh, hang out with you? Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Yeah, uh, that's, that's what I'm doing. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just... No, it's because, uh, where's my lore card? My parents are dead. Oh, I mean, the last guy, he left me to work with Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. And emotional damage. Hey, you varmints! What are you doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <laughs> all right, enough of that. See, like, even Knuckles don't want to do the Amy voice. I, I just can't go that physically high at this point. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. I want a lawyer. Leave me alone. Huh. He seems agitated. Why take it out on us? I know better to argue with Knuckles, so we're on our own. If we don't argue with him, then he could just easily get away with it. All right, let's look for clues. What is this bowl of... Is this peanuts? Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Don't eat those. No, don't eat those. That's why I'm sick right now. Uh, seems someone licked the salt off all of them. What a... Blech! Pooey! Or maybe they just... Or they could just be unsalted. All right, what else? Uh, yeah, the Amachow. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Amachow. Hate to see them like this. Man, Sega loves referencing Sonic Adventure without bringing Sonic Adventure back. Just please, one day, just do it. What are, what game is this? Clearly we won't be able to give this game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches. Who could have possibly done that? Uh, nope, not me. The game was definitely found like that. We, we get the whole arcade game. We're taking it with us. It's a shame to see Super Monkey Ball in this state. Honestly, Super Monkey Ball got a nice remake. They're thriving. All right, what do we got over here? There's the saloon doors, not ready to leave. What is this, a window? We got the hand, and we got another window, and, and some 
Some cups. Hey, wait, Rupert, look at this. This is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. One has lipstick on it. Amy sped through here, had a drink, and then left. <laughs> That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. It's probably Rouge. Who else is wearing lipstick? I mean, Blaze, not the lipstick type of gal. Man, Tails really wants to interrogate Knuckles, but I'm not done looking around yet. You can see, like, the Green Hill Zone trees out here. Breathtaking views. Oh my god, this chow out here, too! All right, let's, uh, let's talk to the hand. Unlike the, the popular 90s saying, in this case, we would like to talk to the hand. Response, why don't you ask me later? Let's check the trash. Man, no one is using these trash cans. I think we almost got everything, except for the doors. Huh, that's funny. The door is locked tight. We can't go any further. I wonder how Amy was able to leave. So, like, you see, like, right here, where you could just kind of go under? All right, time to interrogate Knuckles. This will go well. Thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. Huh. Knuckles, you blushing. I said leave me alone. All right, can I take your order? Not hungry. Let's talk to him. What now? Please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. All right, let's start this damn interrogation. Knuckles, Rupert and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It, oh, we're, oh, we're bluffing. That's it, we're bluffing. We have evidence, too. We, we do? Wink, wink, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Uh, it, clearly video games? Or oh, hang on. Maybe he was tossing a few back at the bar. Now it's video games. The arcade machine? Ha! What makes you think I touched it? Oh, well, hang on. We gotta... Every time I get into an argument in real life, this is what goes through my brain when I have to come up with a rebuttal. Uh, by the way, my voice is slightly better now because the last 30 seconds of this video were recorded about a day or two apart. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. You clearly punched the arcade machine because you have gamer rage. Uh, Super Monkey Ball is clearly your favorite game. While Super Monkey Ball has adrenaline pumping Monkey Ball action, this proves nothing about the current situation. May have been off the mark. Let me try again. I'm clearly uh just trying to see all the answers. Hair, you mean fur? Fur, you mean spines? Doesn't matter, I'm wrong. You touched it because it's covered in punches, whatever the hell that means. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? I don't know, the giant hole in the glass? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, hmm? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. I'm on it. Rupert, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Oh, I thought I was gonna get a different game for a second. This is probably like the only mini game that we're gonna, we're gonna have here. Ow, ow, damn it, ow. Oh crap. Okay, I'm not distracting Knuckles well enough. I'm oh, just kidding, just kidding. Uh, I'm a Sonic video game god, in case you didn't know. You did know though. You've seen me play them. All right, arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Oh damn, Vector's cracked at this game. Candy, bagel, ultim, bread, apple, toast. Candy like Candy Kong? No, it's not spelled with a K. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Picture's beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. Embarrassment ensues. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. He's punching the air in frustration. <laughs> You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Proved me how he was here. Oh, come on. This is fun, though, because it's just like a point-click adventure, but this gives it a little bit of extra juice. Gives it that Sonic element. What do we need next? Maybe next year we'll get a Sonic dating sim. No, no, we don't need that. The f that's the last thing the fandom needs. Now, Rupert, what proves Vector is here at Knuckles? It's gotta be the used cups, right? No! I thought it was strange that there were more than one cup. While well, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's, I, I'm, it's not, no, I wasn't. Don't tell Amy that I was enjoying myself. Look, he's giving himself up, it's too easy. Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I, I mean, we can't compete with that. No one was prepared for this. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what of the cup with the lipstick mark? 
I mean, it's gotta be Rouge, right? She's the only, yeah, there we go. She's the only one here that wears lipstick. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink? I'm starting to sense a little tension between Knuckles and Rouge, but that was always there. We know. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. It all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- uh, Actually, Tails just did that brain thing that Sherlock Holmes does. That's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Oh, we caught him. I want you to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list. It doesn't make sense. Rupert, can you take a look one more time? Bread, apple, toast, candy, bagel. It's all food and then us. I don't know who the hell this is. Oh, ultimate life form. That's gotta be Shadow. You may not know, Rupert, but someone here goes by that title. The ultimate, I called it. Man, Shadow's not so good at video games, huh? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? All right, so we figured out Shadow is here too. He taught us the game, so Shadow is actually the big Super Monkey Ball fan. Big I.I. fan, loves that guy. He gave me this before he left. Oh, a key. Told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone, then he left. That's not suspicious at all. So he didn't open the door for Amy. Amy has a key that opens everything because it's her birthday and she gets to break all the rules. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rue searching for? I don't know, they didn't even tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent, you're gonna have to find them and ask yourselves. All right, we got Knuckles figured out. Done, we're moving on. Come on, Rupert, let's head to the library. Ooh, hang in there. Yeah, we're all just hanging in there. Just waiting for Chow to return in all their glory. One day it's gonna happen. One day Seg's gonna be like, you know what? We do like money. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Uh, Vector's covered in blood, so he could easily have done it. And he could just be like, oh no, this is, uh, cow blood from cows. Already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet, thank you. Huh, Vector, it seems we have more guests. Let's see, have you, you want to join us in finding clues? Yeah, that'll really throw them off. Flattered, but at the pace you two are going, Sonic's murderer will never get found. It's messed up, Amy. Oh, she's confident. She must have something up her sleeve. All right, so let's shoo her out of here, and, you know, we'll get to the interrogating. Although, Vector's pretty big. We're going to need to both take him on. How are you going to leave? The door's locked. Uh, excuse me, I have the, uh, the Ultima weapon. Man, that was a pain in the ass to get in Kingdom Hearts. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. Oh yeah, that's, that's, you know what, Tails? That's just what a murderer would say. I'm here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved, I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. Huh, kill, huh? Your kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm SBO the Poet. Can I hear some poetry? Uh, sure. It wasn't ready to be. <laughs> oh, hang on. We got an actual poem and just variation of chow that you can get in the chow garden. I always love the ones with the eggshell on their head. <clears throat> Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. Dee 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 dee. Wow. Uh, was that it? You like how everyone has the same voice except for Vector? Because I could do Vector decent. So I'm like, yeah, that, that'll be fun. We'll give him the only different voice. Cherry blossoms in the spring. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, satisfied for now. Thanks. Anyway, thanks for the amazing poetry. Rupert and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. I mean, they had, a, they had to go through here and play video games. Uh, and then let's see if his story matches up with Knuckles. When we're all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all pass through this library car where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I probably picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep, where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup in the saloon car. All right, she was looking for something, came to the library, went to the saloon car, went back to the library. She shouted, no way, at the brochure. Left, went back to the casino. So she's making ground. And then Shadow walked through the casino car. Then he entered the library car. I know I've already said this, but I just, I really like the art style here. It's very like IGW Sonic comics. I don't know who did the artwork. I don't know if they had like a similar team do it. Shadow insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. It's both fun and funny to do the vector voice. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car. Again, locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. I like how he's in, he's in the car with the piano. I just, I hope he's playing it. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking us questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. Funny how she was the person to discover it. All right, with all the doors locked, seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car, the saloon car. Um, I mean, Knuckles can open the saloon car door. Shadow apparently could open all the doors. I don't know, this is difficult. What do you think, motivational chow poster? Oh my god, next to it is the picture of the OC from Sonic Forces with the, the gamer hat on. You know who probably did it? It was probably the actual train. The hands probably just like smack Sonic and he fell over. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio is actually in the library car reading. Split up, gang. Let's look for clues. Oh, brochures. There are travel destination ideas here like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, and restaurants. Look at this. There's a couple maps here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Okay, we got another map. All right, we got that. Some books on the floor. Maybe he was reading these. So Rouge was knocking books around looking for something. Let's see what else. Check these books out. Wish I could stop and look at all the books. Nerd! I know some books have fallen on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order but this one. Oh, it's the manual. The user guide to the Mirage Express. Kind of alarming that that exists. I feel like, um, I don't know, the conductor should just know that. Not like, hmm, let me refer to the manual, which is in the library and not in the goddamned engine car. All right, we'll take that too. All right, always check the trash can where there's definitely going to be something there. Hate to say it, nothing. Damn, I love this that they made every trash bin clickable and nothing's there. And the entire time they're just gaslighting you with how important the trash can is supposed to be. And there's nothing ever there. But you know, like one time, maybe at the end, there probably will be. All right, let's see, what do we got left? We can't go to the next place yet because we have to talk to Vector. We have to talk to the hand and we have to talk to... Oh wait, hang on. What's this bright red book? Oh yuck, this reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. His autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? Probably all egg recipes. All right, I think we interacted with everything. We'll go hand first. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling to clean up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean this, this mess up either. We're not even going to, like, help him? That's messed up. All right, SBO, what do you got? Fancy a poem? How about a poem about trains? I like trains. Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. <laughs> the window shows the ocean. Oh, wait. There's my lotion. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. And they say poetry is boring. All right, anyway, start talking. Oh, we don't have enough evidence. Hang on, let's look around some more. All right, let's uh, let's talk to Vector. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting it. Yeah, because you can't. Oh, he tried to bring a knife on the train like a weirdo. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. What if I hid the knife? Uh, anyway, you're being weird. Let's interrogate. Not enough evidence. Is there anything I'm missing? Maybe I just got to leave. Let's go in here. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. <gasps> when Shadow left the library car, he locked the door on his way out. Yeah, why are you locking doors, man? That's weird. Shadow's lock added to your inventory. Okay, wait. That might be everything. We can go interrogate now. All right, SBO. Start talking. So the two of you don't believe us, eh? Well, considering uh, there's like eight people here and someone murdered, we gotta, we gotta weigh all our options. Anyway, we could confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Oh, okay. That, that's enough. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. All right, lines up. You're off the hook. And that brings our attention to you, SBO. Rouge entered the library car, found something, and then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time? Of course he was. Oh, you weren't there, sir. And once he starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it. What was the book? He don't know you that, detective. Let the man, it was Twilight, wasn't it? It was Twilight. I've seen every Twilight movie. Don't ask me why. 
but I've seen them. What kind of things do you think I read? All right, Rupert, what book do we think SBO may have been reading? Here we go. The Mirage Express Manual. Maybe he sped up the train. He's a ninja, so he's fast. Maybe he sped up the train. He's also very sneaky. Everyone fell. He killed Sonic. I'm onto something here. Oh, hang on, done platform. Let's see, are, they, is, are these gonna get any harder? What's that? What, ow! Get out of the way. Dodge those. Is he throwing ninja stars at me? That's what's happening, right? This is Espio's doing. All right, got it. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order, all except this manual. Oh, he's sweating. We got him, he's sweating. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my palate. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. <laughs> that is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool, SBO 2023. Quote it. Huh, in that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual, if you don't mind. Ask him some questions. Just flip, flip through a page. All right, page, oh, no, hang on. This one has dick on it. All right, which page should I quiz him on? Oh, there's no funny numbers here. Uh, let's go to 97. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. Oh, the robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. All right, that was easy. That was an easy one. How about page 231? What was the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, and you'll be charged no show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. All right, last one. We'll see if we go three for three. Page 402. That one's far. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? Intelligence data processing system. Any more brain busters? SBO's, uh, he's good. Yeah, you know, no, no, you didn't. Hate to say it, but no. Nani? Ah, just goofing, you passed. I completed your test with ease. All my efforts were only to please. But you joked and japed. Said no to my face. That doesn't really rhyme that well, but we'll let it slide. Now I wish you were riddled with fleas. Um, <clears throat> please subscribe to Choctopus, please. Wow, that is oddly specific, SBO. Thank you for that. You had the nerve to question my buddy like that? Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? So as much as I would like to think of Shadow, I think that's just too obvious. SBO, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yeah, that's correct, problem. I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Rupert, show him the stuff. All right, Rupert, think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw SBO reading. But what? Uh, lock? With Shadow? Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell. What does this have to do with anything? We're up. Let's get our argument together. All right, here we go. Come on, throw a challenge at me. Look at this. Th these are actually the speedrun strats here. You want to zigzag. I do like that they're throwing more increasingly difficult. Ow, God damn it! Ah, God damn it! Whoop. Grab that last one. He walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but then I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. The Crocs are natural gamers. He only mentions that Vector came back, because Shadow probably used Chaos Control, just kind of like zip through, unless he went like on top of the car, like in a heist movie. I, I was just, listen, I didn't see it. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. Uh-oh, we sense desperation. I guess he wasn't reading the entire time. How would SBO leave? Shadow locked the doors and no one saw the SBO in the saloon car. That cool demeanor's vanishing. He's sweating, tripping, he's fumbling over his words. But that thing he said about subscribing, you guys should do that. That was good. We totally trust that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, SBO. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I, I wasn't. I, I didn't. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. W what, what should I do? Uh, I'm going to join Tails. Yeah, kick his ass. I can't interrupt him. I'll let him continue his line of questioning and... Oh, hang on. Uh, Rupert, my favorite and beloved employee, please. Protect the passenger. Oh, damn it. Don't allow such an old and feebled soul to get sued. Tails, we have a piece of evidence that can that can answer all of our problems. For a second, I forgot that, like, the customers came first. Um, what do we got? Library map. Now, let's give my thoughts in order. The library map? Oh, oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another on a straight path. So if Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way SBO and Shadow couldn't have seen one another if he was sitting behind that wall over there. Watch this. Easy. I got this. He was sitting right here. Interesting, that's where I was sitting reading my book. I second this. When I returned from the saloon car, SBO was in the same spot. Line of sight has proven SBO's innocence. All right, that uh, that alibi, it took, it took a little while to get there. We got there, though. 
Another pair of alibis validated. So who's left? We have Rouge, we have Shadow. I mean, we technically still have Amy, the conductor, and the hand. You can't really rule anybody out. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Maybe it was just Dr. Eggman. All right, that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give them heck, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. A murderer is on the loose, while the doors keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in the caboose. Uh, at this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. All right, on to the next car. Ooh, fancy. Uh, look at the chow bouncer, the pit boss, and the casino car. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the microwave master with you. Yeah, that's me. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Uh, Blaze? All right, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. T -t 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 treasure They certainly didn't tell me about a treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor, if I may, of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. All right, well, it's a fun... Yo, they, there's so much chow in this. It makes sense that it's an April Fool's game. It's just littered with chow. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me that you've accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. Women can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé chow egg is here in this train car. Locked in a safe. What? Why do we have that? Oh, take a look. What did you find? Oh, blueprints. To the library car with the safe code written right on it. The score of a life. Let me let me memorize that. Two thirty four zero one. Comment section. Remember that, just in case I forget. But there's a problem, and we need your assistance. The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow egg. But we're not getting any. Air. I, he's like a Chow. Just like punch him in the head. He'll fall over and die. Okay, so this has become a heist game. This is Ocean's Eleven with Sonic the Hedgehog characters. Do you have an opinion on this, Rupert? Stealing is for squares? Uh-uh. We're cool. It's time for a five-finger discount. Well, I suppose if Blaze and Rupert are in, let's get that Fabergé Chow egg. Now we must plan. It's a good thing I have this whiteboard on me. Oh god, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> Look at the little doodles. Access to the Fabergé Chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. Security guard has the access card. Do we attack the guard, bribe, or distract? Yo, let's just attack him. Oh, never mind. Blaze don't want to do that. Let's keep violence to a minimum. All right. All right. I'm the only one here that wants violence. We'll distract him. Yeah, we're all charming enough for that to work. All right. Who's distracting the guard? It's got to be Rouge. I swear if they made it Rouge. Okay, it's Rouge. Who could resist my feminine charms? Yeah, that's it. Not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Okay, so maybe it's not Rouge. Blaze will do it. In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. G great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Blaze deserved better than the end of Sonic 06. All right, what's the distraction? Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Ask the Chow about their partner and kids. Push a bunch of poker chips on the floor. Uh, maybe he's a family man. All right, how are we gonna get the, uh, we'll have to grab them, fly, uh, pick their pocket. Look, this'll be easy. He's, look, I mean, look, he's got it sticking out of his back pocket like an idiot. And he's drinking a comically large soda. We gotta get Blaze out of there. Pretend you're Blaze's spouse? Ayo. Hey, you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? Uh, yeah, I've played Sonic Forces. Say there's a drink without a coaster. Oh, that'll fire him up. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. <laughs> Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do you do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Oh, that's gonna happen. I would tie him into a big knot like in a cartoon. Wait, do we... Okay, no one knows how to tie shoes. Uh... We could high-five them. Okay, that's not gonna work either. All right, I guess have Tails disable them. I guess we'll do the least fun thing. We could have just did like a big cartoon bow. It would have been hilarious. Oh no, Tails is taking too long. I like the hypothetical scenario that they're playing out. Um, cry and hope they sympathize. All right, this is the perfect plan. Let's execute. Oh, we're in. We didn't get to see any of that happen? We could have made it this far without both of you. You have my gratitude. All right, I got the safe code right here, um, which I totally forgot. Please don't ask me for it. 
Um, let's see. There's only this. We can only interact with like two things here. All right, we'll check this one first. What are they possibly storing in all these? Probably all the rings. Rings, you can find those lying about in the grass. <laughs> That's no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? All right, we, we don't want those. It's got to be in here. No question, this has got to be the safe with the treasure. To the code on the blueprints and find out. Let's see, uh, 23, 04, 01. Oh, why is everything shaking? There's the egg! Damn, that's some fancy-ass egg. All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of... Hang on, kiddo, we can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? All right, someone do it. All you gotta do is twist it. Tick. Oh, no, it's a bomb! Or, hang on, maybe it's not a bomb, maybe it's an egg timer. Ever think of that? All right, what do we do? Where, where do we put this thing? Just Honestly, just close the door and leave. What the hell, man? What do we do with a bomb? Throw and lock it in the safe. Toss the egg in the elevator. Open up, see if there's any wires to cut. That'd be the, that'd be the thing to do. Flip it upside down. Chaos control the egg away. Let Rouge kiss the egg. I'm going with that one. As they say, love always prevails. D tell me I just, like, got everyone killed. Okay, that didn't work. What a proof. Why is that? Why is that an option? Chaos control the egg away. Where did you hear about chaos control? I kind of want to see all of these. Eat the egg. Not without any salt, I won't. Let's rock the egg to sleep. Think the egg is just cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? It's, it's probably, let's let it finish ticking and see what happens, but I'm going to tell the egg to stop. Hey, you, cut that out. Well, that did nothing. Take one for the team. What, a, what does that even mean? Here, give it to me. Get as far away from me as possible. Just remember... <laughs> no, Rupert, we won't let you do that. All right, let's, let's try another funny one. Let Tails cool it down with his tails. Cool the bomb down with your tails, like a fan. Worth a try. I still hear tail. I didn't know if maybe that was going to be the one. Open and see if wires... Are, let's go with that. What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire, like the movies. This isn't a movie. This is real life. Good point. All right. We, we hit all of them. You insane? You want us to just blow up? Yep, that's the goal. I really wanted to go out like a hero, too. But what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. I think you're onto something. Spit it out. Oh, wait, hang on. Going back to SBO saying something about the train. Uh, okay, what efficient, extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During the events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. And also detect weapons or explosives. It's going to be an egg timer. It's going to be like a regular-ass egg timer. So if a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as Fabergé Chow egg, the arms would have detected it. Man, we're real calm for a bunch of people that are about to blow up. Yeah, how about that? Oh, it's, it's hollow. It's not a bomb. It opened up. You really were onto something. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. Eee! And look what's inside! Oh, wow. Bling! Is Hang on, is this just a plug for King Ice? Because King Ice legitimately sells these. Anyway, let's take the Chow King Ice. Security guard's back at his post. No one seems to suspect anything. Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun. Oh, no, we've corrupted Tails. Now, Rouge. Uh, Rouge? Oh god, she's too into the, the chow. Alright, back to the murder mystery thing. And before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. I was giving keys out all willy-nilly now. Alright, so I guess Shadow's the last one that we have to go talk to. So that was that was easy. Alright, this is the moment. There's gonna be something in the trash. Tails, we must search the trash bin. <sighs> it's empty. Let's dip. Ready to get going? Let's go find Shadow. All right, unfortunately, while this has been fun, I think we're probably nearing the end of this. We're gonna, oh, this room is cool. Lounge car. More chow, of course. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's so hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons, I, uh, no reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. What did, what did he do? Oh, don't mind us, C carry on as you were. I also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy knows, so ask her. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Where's my lawyer? Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. Did you know that you have rights? But now if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? 
Well, Rupert, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. I was just right to it. All right, let's go from left to right. Can you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason why you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, leaps? Oh, I, I put myself in harm's way. All right, I'll do it. I have to protect everyone. Watch a pro. Oh, God. All this dust. You opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. <laughs> what, what, what do we got here? A bunch of stuff we can interact with. Let's, uh... Oh, there's so many things. Let's go to the printer. Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic singing a song. Oh, is that, um, is that another Sonic Forces OC? Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. Well, we have to print the other thing, too. All right, get Sonic rowing away from a shark. Maybe he's rowing into the shark. All right, check the keys. Huh, more keys. Must be Shadows the Locksmith. Yeah, we're gonna take those. Just put those right in our pocket. No one saw anything. Let's go on the internet. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely, seems convenient. I was gonna ask how like they could get Wi-Fi on a train, but I guess the same way they would do it on an actual plane. All right, what else? Speaking of Big Chow Band. Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. Uh, play us a ditty. They don't miss. What else you got? That was very spiritual. All right, everything else here, let's look out the window, maybe? Wow, Tails, check this out. They're huge, what a view. And look, here's Big. I was gonna say, I'm a little surprised Big isn't in the game, but here he is. He should have been in on the murder mystery. Talk to the robot. Now the robot arm doing its thing. All right, only one thing to do, and that's to talk to these two. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. Well, you, there's no saving him, he's already dead. Anyway, got any clues? Just a hot tip. But all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. All right, start the interrogation. They were supposed to confiscate weapons, but you had your hammer. That is a good point. Simple, the birthday girl gets what the birthday girl wants. And I don't go anywhere without my hammer. Oh, birthday law. Should have known. Anything else before we... Okay. Shadow. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. Stare, so cold. So... Provocative. <laughs> Maybe we will get out of here. Rupert, we will certainly not interrogate him. Oh, no evidence. Oh, hello. Tails, do you see this? It's a pull string revealing embarrassing pictures of Shadow at the Christmas party? What? Oh, God. There's a secret door. We gotta see where this leads. This is the library. There's a secret passage from the library to the lounge car? Hidden passages added to your inventory, like the whole thing? All right, start talking, pal. Oh, okay, we don't have enough stuff yet. What else, what else is there? Oh, the trash can. Tails, no. Tails, I, please, we gotta check it. Every trash bin has been empty, Rupert, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Rupert? There's always something in the trash bin. Let's do it. What's this? Ha ha ha! A piece of paper. Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Interesting. Let's add that to the inventory. Now we can interrogate him. All right, pal, start talking. We got some questions for you, Shadow. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. You've questioned everyone on the train. Every single person's mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and and I know why. Come on, we're just about to, we're, we're doing our thing, Amy. You're embarrassing us. Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow is locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone, to keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Do you think Shadow is trapping Sonic? Sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Maybe the dude's just got, like, a fetish for locking doors. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and he couldn't leave. Reckless speculation. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imp imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Rupert, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? A oh, hidden passage, this one. All right, we gotta think really hard here. How difficult is this one gonna be? What are they gonna throw at me this time? Literally, ow, a lot of spikes. 
Damn. Rain and hellfire now. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Ow! That's my one brain cell running. That's what happens in my head. A secret passage? Someone could have used a secret passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Rupert. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door on the way out, and dropped the body off in the dining car. That's what I said jokingly, but... All right, so Amy is officially accusing Shadow of murder. I mean, it makes sense, but I feel like that's too easy. There's no way. How did Espio and Vector not see him? Espio was reading. Vector was playing video games. Well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because Vector was with Knuckles. That's true. Things have fallen into place. Espio was reading a book, and he was also, like, behind a wall, kind of. So he didn't see Shadow go the other way. You must know, I needed to give him a key. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Perhaps Rupert and I can further validate Shadow's claims. What evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? Uh, I don't know, is it the keys? All right, let's get our thoughts back in order. <laughs> nice. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. Well, let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, and what possible reason did he have for locking all the doors? She is right, her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? All right, we know exactly why he was locking all the doors. But Amy, I have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone. Yeah, everyone's been so sweet. Just uh, Sonic and Shadow haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Rupert, I have a theory, but I need one piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car, locking the exits. He gave everyone stationed in the cars a key, except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? He wanted to keep us away. Not us, Rupert. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know, it's my birthday, right? <laughs> don't you, Shadow? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. I don't know, the ticket? You went rooting through the trash? Gross. We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails don't. This is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey. It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is <sighs> my current favorite. All the members have B in there. So this is like Charmy's band too, right? Is Charmy in it? All right, the tickets are hard to get. Hopefully they're not using Ticketmaster because they're like dynamic pricing thing is bullshit. $800 nosebleed tickets, my ass. Watch yourself, Fox. The situation becoming more clear. I don't know how Tails figured it out so soon, but I see where he's heading. It exists because Shadow is a big Hot Honey fan. Leave now. Just kidding. He was trying to buy tickets for Amy as a birthday gift. Is this true? We try so he was trying to keep her away to get her tickets. And it seems I've done a poor job at hiding the surprise. Yes, I was trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday, but I failed, and I accidentally printed the homepage. I'm not, I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I just, I love the in my head canon that Shadow like sitting at a computer and he doesn't know how to like check his email or anything. I can't believe this after I accused you of murder. And now the surprise is ruined. Gee, thanks a lot, everyone. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept speaking of? Oh, okay, it was. So rather than killing Sonic, Shadow was just trying to get them tickets. He had to get in the virtual queue. Ah, the plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed, it's a well-known privilege. All right, so, uh, Amy's credibility flushed down the toilet. Who is your source, by the way? You keep... She keeps stating her source. And the last place we have to check is the conductor's car. Yeah, I want to come with you and see who's dragging my name through the mud. Because, you know, the name Shadow the Hedgehog is very reputable. Rupert, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this tale so we'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on, then. Let's do it. You ready to go to the conductor's car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. I'm telling you, it's gonna be the hand. He's here too, he's everywhere. Empty. Wait, where's the conductor? Oh, maybe it was him. Cause he just said he was leaving and then he just like dipped. 
All right, time to investigate. Uh, Shadow, don't, don't sit on that. We got a coffee cup. We got some speakers. A lot of things here. Let's see. I've noticed these screens through the entire train. They're used to show information and advertisements. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy. The next ad was for nasal medication. All right, not what we're interested in. Oh, here's the... Look how young he is here. So spry. He's been here a long time. And after 32 years, he's finally retiring. Okay, blah, blah, blah. We know he's retiring. May any future sorrow be fleeting. What is this? Someone's playing with darts? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone tranquilized Sonic. Let's make note of this. Blow dart added to inventory. Check the trash. Oh, come on. We could You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? Going out on a high note. Damn right. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Huh. Should I say something? <clears throat> Penis. Wait, the, the arm here's... It's detached. Oh, my God. He's dead. All right, let's log this. Okay, there's a vent up here. Maybe someone could sneak out of it. Before we talk to Amy, just got to make sure we check everything. A vent. Oh, no. This could only mean... Sasibaka. It's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Wonder who that would be. It's high time we named a suspect. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to solve this case. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Round the troops up. We're solving a murder. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect with assistance from Rupert. Why didn't Sonic showed up? Uh, because he was tranquilized. Uh, uh, Vector, can you come with me real quick to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead. Ha, <laughs> lazy bum. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so tense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. All right, let, let's cut to the chase here. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train also does escape rooms. That's the next year. April Fool's game. The Sonic escape room game. Ah! Uh, what was that? She discovered that Sonic is actually dead. And it wasn't just a joke. Oh, no. This is not good. He's not responding. Because we got the dart. He was tranquilized. He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. Is anyone here no CPR or, like, anyone a doctor or anything? Oh, she got the hammer out. All right, Amy, just relax. We're gonna... First, let, let's take care of Sonic first. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. And I'm gonna expose the monster who did this. Wow, Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. Horse tranquilizer. You know what's messed up? We all just walked by Sonic's, like, injured body... And we're like, oh, he's just playing. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog besides Sega? Oh, I have to pick uh, Amy. That can't be right. Neither Tails or I could be the murderer. Uh, I'm going to go with Shadow. All right, I guess uh, they're not letting me pick Shadow either. He was buying a gift. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friend. I was busy reading poetry. But if it's a battle of... Uh, hang on. We have we have SBO's lawyer here. We do, also we have that secret passage. Yep, we discovered a secret passage. And Vector's been acting protective. We'll go with the secret passage first though. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. That would he would avoid all locked doors and put him in the car just before this one. Come on, he's a ninja. That makes sense. A ninja like him speed reads. SBO's a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different Damn, really? What are you getting at? You picked a random book on the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. He did it on purpose. It's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know there's a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. Yo, is it really SBO though? If I'm right, and SBO quickly memorized a book before entering a hidden passage, then he could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. And SBO says, since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. Yeah, but how, that's true. How would he know it's there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Who here has evidence to prove SBO knew about the hidden passage? Rouge, we gotta see those... Oh, she never saw... She knew about it because of the blueprints. What if everyone killed Sonic? I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. It's either nobody or it's everybody. Everywhere, all at once. That was a great movie. I watched it, like, after it won 19,000 awards. 
Uh, and I'm kind of upset that I waited so long because it was fantastic. And how could he have seen those blueprints? He swiped them. Or he, he maybe found them for Rouge did. Where'd you find them? Oh, in the library car. Oh, he saw them first. So he found out about the, uh, the hidden passage because he saw the blueprints before Rouge got them. I'm sure how much harm SBO caused Sonic, but Rupert and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Boom. Blow dart. Come on, focus. You're close, Rupert. What would Sonic do? He would run through this ring simulator. See, look, he's here. He's fine. What the- Yo, okay. I wasn't ready for that. No one told me the floor was gonna break apart. I gotta hit that. Wasn't prepared. Check out this blow dart. It was used to knock Sonic unconscious. So you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. All right, hang on, we got some more evidence. All right, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Rupert, think. Oh my God, they're gonna throw like back to back. All right, I need to make sure I prioritize these. Damn. Get that. Ooh, that was close. All right, let's take a look. Vespio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car. What route did he take to get Sonic there? There's a path above the conductor's car. Oh, he took him through the vent. The long attic. That's it. SBO vented. I saw him. He's like, no, no, it wasn't me. I was doing wires. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Or he had the hands do it. This, this feels like it's falling apart. But I also feel like we kind of got him locked down. How on earth would Sonic get through that vent? The robot arm. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here. One of those arms was a casualty. What if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic passed out from a blow dart and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Yeah, because they dragged him through the attic vent. Okay, we can't link everything to SBO, especially of one inconsistency. Someone here received false information. I believe that information came from SBO. Who received that information? Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? Espio lied to me. He told me Shadow was locking the doors to trap Sonic. But we discovered Shadow was just trying to keep me from my birthday surprise. That scoop that came from you, Espio? No, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? I think we got him. I, yeah, I said, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. We got him. It's falling apart at the seams. And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no reason other than cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only have been one person. It was you, SBO. Damn, look at this double point here. Hey, I'm pretty tall. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh-oh. Suspense. Sonic's like, oh, man. Can we put this on pause? I gotta poop. Oh, good. Sonic, you're all right. Okay, tell us who murdered you. SBO is the murderer. Right. SBO jumped me in the conductor car. You didn't actually have to hurt him. <laughs> a blow dart, though? Really? It's non-lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Not oh, great. I could use a nap. Uh, honestly, I'm getting kind of tired, too. It's late. I didn't expect this game to be this long. N no, wait. There's something important. And he left me there. I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad Nick. Oh, shit. The whole train is an Eggman robot? That's actually a pretty cool twist. I, I was gonna, listen, I was gonna make a Mugen train joke, but I feel like every time there's a train, I do that, so I refrained. But this time, I actually should have did it, because the train's powered by a Flicky, the same Flicky that betrayed Tails. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple bad Nick. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. Right as we saw the Flicky, I felt a sting on my shoulder. It was the blow dart from SBO, and then I went nap nap. SBO left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Please make this cannon. Hey, stop. What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dash right through the robot arm and slice. Oh, maybe you can do that. Maybe it is like the buzz saw. All right, so Sonic did it. He knocked that arm clean off. 
The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. All right, well, SBO is the murderer. We were right. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the- Yeah, we figured it out already, stupid. I, I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. I was just following the rules. Use this blow dart in Sonic Station- Oh, wait, hang on, who put this here? So, the train convinced SBO this was part of the rules. The badnik was given instructions by Dr. Eggman for someone here to knock Sonic out so they could destroy him. Done. Come think of it, one of the robot arms handed it to me. So I wasn't wrong when I said Dr. Eggman, because it kind of was. Rupert, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed SBO the blow dart? The train itself. So we've established that the train is a bad nick, uh, but we're still like just chilling on it right now. Just like maybe get off. You're seriously convinced the train is out to get us. Someone hasn't seen Mugen Train. Train, if that, if that is your name. Thomas, whatever he wants to call you. Come out and show yourself. Amy, we're inside of it. It's my birthday and I don't need you met. Oh, Amy hit the wall with her hammer. Okay. What was that? Oh, it's mad. It's locking us in. What did you two do? Is that the- Oh, the conductor's here. And he's in trouble. Mm, don't touch him. Oh, you, you- So you can speak. Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What- what are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base, where you will rot! Eggman! After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress, the conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. Plot twist, this is his wife. He married the train. W what are you- what are you- enough! The oh, the train's picking up speed! Everyone grab something! Ha ha, ha 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 ha. Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. This went from, like, zero to sixty, literally, the pun not intended, in, like, two seconds. I can't keep my footing. Uh, I think we crashed. My head, tails. Amy, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No hey, hey, stop yelling, bud. We all have headaches. Seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. Where's everyone else? A great question. But for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog? Asking about me? Oh, I'm starstruck. I'm doing amazing! <laughs> uh, you might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. Let's get our bearings and look around. Good idea, lead the way. Alright, time to look for clues, and by that I mean let's see uh, what sign we can activate. That yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the wet- Oh, we're not gonna see any cool- Oh god, it's Eggman. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Oh, I activated it right away? H hello Hello! Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? Yep, I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerves showing up here, egghead. Ho ho ho, you spiky blue pest. Seems like you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Ah, ignoring that. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman lands, these problems... Oh, is this take place before that? So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. Just more useful for future schemes. I thought he was like genuinely doing something good for a while. He's like, yeah, no, like the trains are really dirty. Like, have you seen the New York City subway? Ugh. I'd rather ride on one of Dr. Eggman's bad Nick trains. So let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable? The people fear giant spheres. It's science. He's not wrong, especially when they're in space and they can shoot big lasers. All right, let's cut to the chase. Where, where are my friends? Where are they at? We, we actually missed them this time. Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no. I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. They look like they activated the Orb of Confusion. But for a luxury train, I wanted to- Oh, luxury. I'm gonna put some money into this one. I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision and report to me if anything happened. You know what they say, work smarter, not harder. So this confirms the train is really sentient. Mugen train. So the main goal is just like deliver everyone to Dr. Eggman. And then what? We'll just pulverize anything he throws at us. I've played the games. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. 
Oh, a bounty. Sonic's worth something. Let's see, what are we getting? Jennifer Ward of... Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever. But a highly intelligent train may ask for something more interesting. Oh, like what? Yep, he's like, nope, peace. I'm out. This is tough. The train has the motivation. And being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. All right, we know how to get through. We gotta, we gotta get all our, our homies together and bust out of this place. Oh, hell yeah. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Let's do it to it. Oh, Sonic's got the hat on now. All right, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out on my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door, too. All right, we gotta get 50. He's talking about Sonic Frontiers. One of the greatest Sonic games ever made. All right, so far, so good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right, bust right through. Easy. All right, Knuckles is free. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. Can Knuckles join me? Oh, that would have been cool. Just getting, like, all the sprites there. Can I do this completely hitless? Uh, no. The answer is no. Okay, so that wasn't... That wasn't good. Let's try that again. I was gonna say, tell me I have to start all the way from the beginning again. That would actually be kind of brutal. All right, I'm good. Next door. SBO and Vector. Two for one special. I, I hope the reward is something really stupid. And you know it's gonna be, because we don't know what it is. This is making me want to download the, uh, the Sonic mobile game. That, isn't that like an endless runner? Sonic Run or something? Sonic Rush? What is it? Well, I know one game they, like, they stopped. Oh, Blaze and, uh, and Rouge together. Okay, that's cool. I mean, they were in the same car together, so I guess it makes sense. Remember the Crash Bandicoot runner that came out? That, uh, I played for, like, a hot second? I'm excited for the, the Crash Team Rumble game, though. That actually looks fun. The only question is, will it have cross-play? Because... If it doesn't have crossplay, I feel like it's doomed. Games like that need crossplay nowadays. They're too niche. All right, Shadow, you're free. We gotta get Amy and Tails. They're in the front. Need 55 rings. They, re they should really up it. All right, I, okay, maybe they shouldn't up it. Oh my God! Ah, I was right there. You think uh, the reward that like the train is asking for is like I don't know, Doctor Eggman's bath water or something very simpy? All right, we're good. Even though I took a couple hits, bust through. Sonic. You're here! There's no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right, I'm ready to stop this train. Let's finish this. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. All systems, full power. Let's properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman land. And probably another death egg. Don't teleport us into the future. Don't turn us into robot. Uh, the future sounds cooler. Teleport you, are oh, to the future. But I've already ruled the planet. Sure, I'll do that, whatever. Shut it, Eggman. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? You, oh, you mean the bounty. I don't care what you call it. Just bring me these overgrown mammals. I must get my wish. I will not fail. Hey, what is your wish? Can you just... Listen, we won't tell anybody. It'll still come true, we promise. Oh, wow. I'm gonna race the train now. And this... Okay, this is dope. Trying to stop me. You can't stop me, though. Uh, I need to know where this soundtrack is going to be available. So this, uh, song kind of slaps. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? Oh, does does he want the conductor to be roboticized so he can stay with him on the train? My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. Not gonna lie, that's actually, actually kind of sad if true. If he wants to make him part of the train, or if he's, uh... Oh, crap. Oh, God, I, I didn't commit to that. I'm throwing everything at you. Okay, hit that. Boom. Eggman, can you hear me? My wish. My wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. Wasn't really expecting a twist like that. Legit kind of sad. This, uh, this robot has abandonment issues. Nah, this song goes hard, man. Upload this somewhere. Someone probably already did it. Oh, come on! But that's funny, though, right? Like April Fools, you have to start the entire game over again. Conductor! There he is. You promised me. You promised. Let him speak. Unhand him. Train, stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. No, stop. What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. All right, we have to rescue the conductor if we want to stop the train. Let's get him. Oh, it's speeding up. Oh, God, we have to fight the train. 
Okay. What is it going to do? Honestly, just an average Tuesday on, uh, on the New York City subway. Ow. Shoot and stuff. Oh my god. Can we get this as a, an alt for Sonic in Frontiers? Give him the captain's hat. There we go. Oh my god, I jumped instead of hitting the, the spring. I am so stupid sometimes. There we go. Do it hitless. Catch him. Get him. Get his ass, Sonic. Get. Oh yeah. Hit him with that homing attack. Oh, there's the Flicky. He's just running and powering the entire train. That is hatred right there. That is the number one hater. A Flicky? This is just like the lore card. When my ex best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman. So this really is a bad Nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. This train's about to get hit with the Phantom Thieves all out attack, but, but Sonic. Am I gonna get 85 rings? Let's see. It would be easier said than done. Oh god. Oh, I just got it. Go on, hit homing attack. Bam. Just be delivered to Eggman already. How far is Eggman from here? It's like a three hour trip. Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me, selfish. How dare you? 100 rings. All right. It's all right. Just a little setback. All right. Damn, some of these uh, these later thinking stages are a little more difficult. Dude, they throw, like, so much stuff. I'm, I'm like, wh where do I go next? There's no way I got enough rings here. No shot. This has to be the last one, though. I feel like an even hundred, three attacks. Look, he, he's already hurting. It's a good thing this song goes hard. I listen to it all day. God damn, this is tough. Here we go. This is the one. Sometimes you just, you know it's the one. This is, this is the one. Bam! Smack him in his face. I teach you to be selfish. No, 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 no! I'll grab the Flicky. He's tired, man. He's exhausted. It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Just go, wow, oh my god, crush it with the hammer. Amy getting a little bit of spotlight here. Love to see it. Crumbled this tin can. Uh, was the conductor still in there when you uh, destroyed it? Pretty sure he was. Again, love the artwork in this. Very clean. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. It was pretty great, wasn't it? Oh, he's sad. Oh, his eyes blinking. Yo, not an April Fool's game that's got me in my feelings right now. I just zzz, couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry zzz, for the trouble. Damn, come on, man. Now, let's get off this thing. Goodbye, my friends. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. I thought we, like, destroyed the train. We just, like, dented the front a little bit. All right, step right, step right off. Be sure to leave us a five-star review on Google. We did it. All the windows are destroyed. Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. <sighs> it's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday, we'll just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Ha ha ha! Oh, you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm gonna actually miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Oh, the conductor's wife. She kind of looks like Amy a little bit. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. Fa ha ha ha! You would honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. Fa ha fa ha ha ha! Great job saving the little guy, Espio. It's literally the least you could do for almost actually killing Sonic. Seriously, a dart? Would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. But I'm sorry. All right, all, everything, all, it's all good. Everyone's cool. This group has a wild idea of fun. And, yeah, we never did get food. I had one job, and, and I did none of it. Ah, if only you'd see me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where'd he go? Everyone guess what? This station has a bakery, and look what I bought! They were, like, able to whip up the cake with, like, her face on it, just like that, real fast. Happy birthday, Amy! To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration, unless I am, uh, sucked into another dimension again. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling pernacity. Happy birthday! I'm not smart enough to know if pernacity is a, is a word. And just like that, 
the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, which was supposed to be a fun murder mystery game, turned into us almost getting murdered. Who approved this game? Who thought a game that was supposed to be a joke would actually be this good? Funny, good music, heartfelt ending. I hope they do more. Oh my god, this is fantastic. Let's go dead. It's just, <laughs> it's just Metal Sonic and Sage just standing there. Oh, that train's never making it here, is it? Orbot, prepare the bath. He's got the rubber duckies. The happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry! Sour choice or evilness? Shut it! And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends, entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, hi. Uh, quit my job. And then, won millions in the lottery. And after that, I managed to fly the space like most rich people. And yeah, that's just been my life. Bravo. That's the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.